It's showtime, baby. Welcome to Recognized Vein on RecognizedRap.com. As always, thank you for tuning in. Special episode to get into today. Two local producers from the 207 will be joining the show, Trelly and Drew K Beats as well. And at the end of this episode, we got a snippet of a brand new Frank Banks banger. Can't wait to get into that. Stay tuned. But first, Trelly, want to welcome you to the show. And I was just recently listening to High Honors, the mixtape, the collaborative project you dropped with Zaya about four years ago. So looking back, what does that mixtape mean to you? It was cool. Like, Zaya was like the first kid in Maine I linked up with and actually like worked on music with like heavy like we worked all the time back then so it was cool it was like my first like real project i ever did so it was definitely like a a good like kind of starting like rap project to really see like how how shit actually worked and you know so how has your sound evolved since that time because like i said that was four years ago and i know recently you've been experimenting with some different genres yeah it's evolved like crazy dude i went from trying to be like lex luger and like young chop straight like trap beats so now I kind of, I dipped more into the EDM world, kind of more of electronic music, experimental music. So it's changed a lot. Like, I don't even really make beats like that anymore, but I still got a few in my bag. All right. Now, thinking of the songs you did produce, you know, as far as rap songs in Maine, do you have one in particular that stands out? Because for me, my personal favorite that you produced is by J Star Hefner called Rollin'. I love that song, man. Do you have one that stands out for you? Well, honestly, that J Star one is probably one of my favorites because, like, I made that beat so long ago before I even, like, thought about giving beats to rappers. And, like, that shit was just, that came out so fire. But, um,. The song Faces I have with the uh, kids in Flower Shop, uh, like Rody, THT, Duro, Griot, whatever you want to call them. That's probably my favorite one that I've made with like main people because it kind of all just like clicked together super well. And uh, we like re- we did a live show with it before it even was like fully recorded. And it was just so turned up. And we we're just like, yeah, this is the song. So that's probably, like, my favorite one I've done. And I co-produced... BC, who's a, another producer in Maine, co-produced that one with me, too. All right, yeah. I don't think I've heard that one, actually. I might have to check that one out. Um, one thing I gotta ask, are you normally sober when you produce music? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it varies. Yeah, it definitely varies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, the reason I ask is because you got some really weird song titles on SoundCloud. Just to name a couple. Uh, one of them's called I Went to Spain, like, two years ago. It was cool. Another one's called The Devil Came to Me and Told Me to Drink More Vitamin C. So how do you come up with these song titles? Man, that's just like how my brain works. Like the Spain thing is real. Like when I made that song, I had gone to Spain like two years before that. And like it's, I don't know, just like things pop into my head and I make them song titles. All right. Now let's talk about Furboy. Is that, who is Furboy? Is that your alternative stage name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go by both the same thing at the same time sometimes it's pretty much whatever you want to call me it's funny people like there's some people now that only know me by fur boy and don't even know that i'm trelly which was my plan all along so i'm glad it's working out yeah i gotta admit it is kind of confusing at first i didn't know if it was like a alternative you know ego or something going on but another thing i gotta ask so i was doing some digging on your twitter page and this is like way back in like february you said something about having an elbow fetish. Is that true? No, that's real, dude. I love uh, elbows. Nice, smooth elbows. <laughs> so, are you the only one with an elbow fetish, or are you part of, like, a larger community? Not that I know of, but uh, I probably need to go on Facebook and, like, look for a page for that, because I'm trying to be a part of it if there is. <laughs> it's so funny to me, man. I don't know why, but... All right, on a more serious note, uh, I know you do a lot of local DJ sets, you know, around Portland and the main area in general. So next time people see a flyer for a Trelly set, why should they come out? You're gonna, If you come to one of my shows, you're going to hear some music that you don't hear in this area at all. I don't, like, I don't know many people that are making the kind of genre that I'm making right now. But my shows, you know, it's loud music, it's heavy, it's a good time. Um, it gets pretty turned up in there when I drop some, some of my songs. So it's just a good time if you want to hear some music that isn't common isn't just like boom bap hip-hop or like vocal like you know mainstream rap like it's uh it's pretty different than what what's around here right now yeah yeah for sure and right now we're about to play one of your new tracks it's called second place so you produced this one as well as sang on it as well so let's run it Oh. 
That song is so dope, man. Second place on SoundCloud Trelly, if, if any of you viewers want to listen to that full track. So thanks for joining the show, man. And now we welcome Drew K. Beats from Harpswell, Maine, the producer. He's checking in on Recognized Maine. So, Drew, like I said, you're from Harpswell. How did a guy from over there get into making beats? Uh, so pretty much my friend from school, he, um, he plays instruments and stuff, and he got me into it. Like, he started making beats and stuff, I'm like, well, this is pretty cool, so, um, he's a good friend of mine, his name is Raph Beats, uh, he's pretty good too, um, but I just pretty much started, I used what he was using, and then just went from there, and that was about, like, a year and a half ago. Okay, so what equipment do you use, is it FL Studio? Yeah, FL Studio 12, um, I don't use a MIDI keyboard or anything like that, because I can't really play piano, and, um, you don't really need one, if, if I'm being honest, you know, um, and then there's all the plugins and stuff, which... That's like the real money, like the real expensive stuff is all the plugins and sound banks. Yeah, when I was in high school, I honestly tried to be a producer myself. I bought a keyboard, I bought FL Studio, and I was trying it out for like a couple months, but I just quit eventually because I wasn't good at it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it takes a lot of learning and stuff. And I see a lot of people, they try to get into it for the like quick cash or quick money. Like they see me making money they see other people making money and they're like oh if i do this for like a month i'll start making money but it doesn't work like that like it took me about a year to really start generating income and like making money off of this stuff yeah so you got your website drewkbeats.com so how's business uh, it's actually doing really good i've um even today my friend just released a new track and that's like um each like new single that comes out with someone on my beat is like 200 dollars right there for me because like an exclusive um, can go anywhere from like 200 to like $500 and I've also been working on a couple collab albums with certain people and that's also some big money like um, my friend Bass Shinobi we're working on a collab album and that's pretty much a grand to me yeah wow a grand and 500 for a song that's major right there so aside from being a producer do you have a dream job honestly I've kind of like thrown everything aside for like producing and stuff like I can't really think of anything I just really want to make beats and like get some big songs and you know be able to support myself yeah man well you're on your way and just keep going and you never know what could happen and right now we're about to give the viewers a taste of what you're capable of let's play one of your beats Drew K. Beats from Harpswell, Maine. Check out his website, DrewKBeats.com. All right, Drew, thanks for joining the show. And now we got that snippet of the new Frank Banks banger that I was hyping up at the beginning of this episode. Frank Banks, of course, the artist from Portland, Maine. Let's run it. I'm chugging, rolling, moving past. Yeah. Yeah. Stripping, dropping, doing more than the night. Nah. I'm slipping, tripping, lying, and trying to drive. Whoa. So bad she roll it up, she not so shy Said she get to me, she let me do it right All on sight, make her dream her life Fly, bitch, I'm high, smoke it in dust I'm luxury like a car fridge, I make it nice Whipping the hundreds and then I first go Flipping the hundreds and letting it snow Open the safe, got 20 or more I'm waiting for winners, I'm going to call Dropping the numbers and leaping for gold Flexing and mixing when feelings are old Always annoyed when missing my call I fuck with the numbers, I'm going real hard Yeah, I messed with that one right there It's called Dangerous by Frank Banks Listen to that full track on his SoundCloud page And that's a wrap for this week's episode of Recognize May Thank you to all the viewers for tuning in And make sure to leave a comment Let me know who I should interview next on the next episode of Recognize Man. All right, peace.